Satan. Mm, bad man, no the walk up. For our rabbit ear, we're going to be working with 20 inches of ashoke material. Now I'm going to be folding the edge of this material, the left side. After folding it, I also fold the right side. Once you're done folding it, you put them together facing each other. Next thing you're going to do is to take it to your sewing machine and you're going to run your stitch like an opposite C sign. Now this is what it looks like after running my stitch. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to be pleating it from one end to the opposite end. You make your pleats. Now you're also going to be working with your needle and thread. Tack it down and hold it in place. Once you're done tacking, put it aside and we'll come back to it later. Next, we cut out 28 inches of the same ashoke and then we hem the edges in our sewing machine. Next thing we are going to be doing is to form our pleats. Now this pleat we are going to be forming, it's going to be half of the ashoke. Since our ashoke is 28 inches, so half of the ashoke, let's say 14 inches, will be forming this pleat that I'm making on half of the ashoke, which is 14 inches. Now after forming our pleats, what we are going to be doing is to be folding it in in circles, just like I'm doing. So we're going to fold it in in circles. As we're folding it in, we're also going to be working with our needle and thread and we'll be tacking it and holding it in place. At this point, I'm no longer just folding it in, I'm folding it in and at the same time, I'm pleating it and forming something that looks like a fan. Just watch what I'm doing, that will best help explain what I'm trying to achieve. So you, you fold it in and create a kind of like a fan all around. As you're doing that, you'll also be holding it down with your needle and thread.
so i've gotten to the end of the part where i'm pleating it so i'm tacking it with my needle and thread and now the remaining excess that you're seeing hanging there what i'm going to be doing is to fold it in just watch what i'm doing and you understand So we are done folding it next thing we are going to do is to bring that other ear that we we formed i'm cutting off the ss needle and thread now i'm going to be joining it together just like you're seeing so with this other needle and thread i'm going to be joining them too i'll tack it down together When working with this needle and thread, try and be very careful because I can count how many times this needle poked my fingers. So just be careful and that's just it. Just be careful. So if you have gotten to this point of this video and you like what you're seeing and you have not yet joined the family, please tap on that subscribe button and join the family. Thank you. Thank you. And to my old subscribers. That's a very big thank you. At this point, these two places that I'm holding down, I'm going to use the needle and thread to tack it down. Now, this is why I called it the original rabbit ear. It's already looking like rabbit ear. Or should I call it Mickey Mouse? That, oh, Mickey Rabbit. I don't know. Mickey Rabbit is really looking so beautiful. I know. So that's how you make your original rabbit ear. You can as well go ahead and attach it to your Zara cap or any cap of your choice that you just made. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, share it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.